it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing my April favorites with you guys. I'm so excited because April was a good month, but May is going to be an even better month because it is my birthday month and Johnny's birthday month. Johnny and I, um, Johnny's my boyfriend for those of you who don't know, Johnny's birthday is the day before mine, so we always share birthdays, so I'm excited. We are both turning 24 this month, so... We're getting old. If you're new to my channel, make sure you press subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And when you subscribe, you officially become part of the Little Flower family because that's what I call you guys. You guys are my little flowers. I love you so much. And at the end of every video, I feature a little flower of the week. So stay till the end to see who it is this week. I'm not gonna lie, I don't have a ton of favorites to share with you guys this month. So my first and only beauty product to share with you guys is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I actually did a first impression review on this and I know you're like, Jackie, I didn't see a first impression review. That's because I filmed it and it is not up on YouTube quite yet. I actually filmed it for Polished. If you haven't checked out their channel, make sure you do. It will be up on their channel pretty soon, so keep an eye out for that. But I did a first impression on this whole line actually and this was my favorite product from the line. It is this, uh, blah, 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 blah. this foundation is so awesome. It is a medium to full coverage. It leaves your skin matte, like so matte throughout the day. If you have any oily spots, you are going to love this because it just keeps those so mattified throughout the entire day. But if you know me and you're familiar with like my skincare videos and all that kind of stuff, you know that I have combination skin. I do have some dry spots and I gotta say it's not a favorite for my dry spot areas so I get dry around my nose and mouth area usually right here and it's really ugly because it looks like like drool like I was sleeping and I just drooled that's what it looks like but no they're just dry spots on my skin but um, it, it's not too bad but I do notice that towards the end of the day like it really just enhances my dry spots so I don't like it for that reason but the rest of my face loves this foundation I think if you are like completely oily you might love 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 this stuff so in April thanks to style haul I got to go to a Kimbra concert and Kimbra is actually an artist that performed at Coachella so if you were there at Coachella maybe you might have saw her or heard of her but she is amazing that was my first time um, going to one of her concerts and I fell in love I fell in love with her I just love her vibe and her energy she's just like one of those free spirits and like she just you can tell she's performing because she's like feeling the music not just because like I'm getting paid to stand here and sing and blah 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 like she feels the music and it's just like it's hard not to feel the music with her like you're just I don't know I don't know how to explain things but I'm obsessed with Kimbra. I've been listening to her nonstop on Spotify. And I think one of my favorite songs, I shared this with my sister and she hated it. And I also shared it with Johnny and he hated it too. But I love it. So you guys know I'm a huge Disney freak. And Kimbra actually opened up her show with a cover of I'm Wishing from Snow White. And I was just like instant like. Like I automatically like you. You are going to be my favorite artist. The end. At that same show, Mickey Echo also performed and he was actually the opener. And I actually didn't know of him prior to the concert, but I was listening to him and I'm like, oh my god, this guy is talented. His vocals are insane. And I went with my manager, Jennifer, and we were just both like, Oh my gosh, who is this guy? He is so good. And turns out he's actually the one who wrote the song Stay by Rihanna and he was actually in that music video too. So you might already know him. But I have been also listening to him on Spotify nonstop in April. I don't know, I'm just obsessed with him and you guys need to go listen to him, okay? Go listen to him right now. Go, go, go. <laughs> If you follow me on my daily vlog channel, then this is no surprise, but I am obsessed with planners. Like, I'm so, so obsessed. This is a new obsession of mine. It's a hobby turning into, like, a crazy 
unhealthy addiction like I need help I'm so obsessed and at first I started with my personal planner this is from like personal-planner.com and I actually did a video of like how I decorate my planner and it's called planner decorating 101 I'll leave it linked below in case you guys want to check it out but I show how I decorate this planner so um, I'm just I love using my planner for like obvious reasons like to organize my day and all that kind of stuff but I also just really like to decorate it like I'm kind of obsessed with decorating it with stickers and washi tape and all that fun stuff so um, pretty obsessed pretty obsessed but I recently just got my hands on an Erin Condren planner which I am so excited about I knew that I wanted to get one but I was just gonna wait until next year so that I can finish using this guy but the planners were 40% off plus I had a $10 off coupon so I basically got this for like 20 or $30 yeah I got this for so so cheap I ended up spending a little more because I bought some extra add-ons I bought some extra stickers and this pen holder and things like that but the planner itself was so cheap I'll leave a link it down below I think they might still be on clearance I'm not a hundred percent sure but um, check out the link below um, and and yeah I'm obsessed with planners and I just want to do a shout out to a shop that has been so kind to me it's an Etsy shop called station stickers and she actually sent me some stickers from her shop and I've already decorated my planner with some of them they're just so so cute I'm gonna leave her Instagram and her um, Etsy shop linked below in case you guys want to go check her out another favorite of mine has been banana smoothies like I am obsessed with these like they are so, so good. My friend Lindsay Ellen is actually a health coach and she just created a YouTube channel. So I'm gonna leave that linked below for you guys. She actually did a recipe video on this already. So I don't necessarily need to show you a recipe video because you can just check out her video. But she's the one that kind of introduced me to banana smoothies and it is like heaven. It's so good. I could eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and be completely satisfied. It is so delicious. It's like, I actually, I really want one right now. You know what? I'm gonna go make myself one right now. So I always have frozen bananas. I actually keep lots of bananas and once they get ripe, I just put them in the freezer so then I can save them all. So I'm just going to put these bananas in here. And I use a, um, what is this? A Ninja Blender. I add in a little bit of water and then sprinkle in some cinnamon powder. This is seriously like the best thing in the world. It is so, so good. It's so simple, so easy, so cheap, and so good. And last but not least, I want to share my favorite YouTuber of the month. So this month, my favorite YouTuber is Marissa Lace. I adore this girl so much. I've been watching her videos like non-stop. Her main channel videos and then her like daily vlog channel. I've been watching them non-stop. She's really into fitness. Shh. She's really into fitness. She has such a like funky, sassy personality, and I just love that. I feel like she's like my sassy friend. I don't really have a friend like that, so you always gotta have a sassy friend. And Marissa, if you're watching, you are my sassy friend, and I love it. Okay, that is going to be it for my April favorites. I know it was pretty weird because I only had one beauty product, but it was a good one. You guys gotta go check it out, it was a good one. Don't forget to subscribe right up above, and here is my little flower of the week. Woo! If you want to be my next little flower, be sure to pick up a Jack Jack shirt, there's a link below, and snap a picture of you wearing it and make sure you tag me. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye, have a magical day.